very good evening to you and welcome to Game One. My name is Mahreen Chenya. We have a jam-packed show for you this evening. Let's get with it. Let's have a look at your headlines. The Proteus start their campaign against Australia. And development in South Africa is on the rise. Transformation has been a massive talking point in sporting boardrooms and an even bigger one in rugby circles. In the past week, Archbishop Desmond Tutu was reported saying that South African rugby is transforming at a tortoise pace and there was not enough black representation at the national level. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke to Afri Forum, who were lodging a complaint with the IRB with regards to the quota system being implemented. We are now joined in studio by CEO of Afri Forum, Kali Creel, to see what happened. Kali, thank you so much for speaking to us here on ANN7. Are you concerned at all that uh, Saru has not even responded to your complaint? Well, the fact is uh, that we are going internationally now. Um, they are contravening the rules of the International Rugby Board. Obviously, Saru will want to broaden their base into a black market as well. And, and that's why we want to see more black players coming in. Isn't your case now counteractive to development? No, our case is counteractive to artificial measures. Isn't it rather opportunistic that it's just rugby that you're tackling? Of course, the quota system is going to be implemented across the board in every single mm. sporting code. Why just rugby? So we are taking this case internationally to the Court of Arbitration. Um, if we win, which we are confident that we will, we will then go to the next sport to make sure that we read all sports of the artificial quota system. We have on the line Roger Barrow all the way from Amsterdam. He is a Team South Africa, the rowing team's head coach. Roger, thank you very much for speaking to us. Of course, you've been taking part in the World Rowing Championships. Can you give us an idea of what the results have been like? Um, yeah, thanks very much for having me on the show. Um, yeah, we had a great first day on Sunday. Uh, we've got six crews here in the able-bodied, and um, we started off in our heats, and our four Olympic boat classes of our lightweight men's double. Of course, they broke a South African record. They were just perfect on the day, weren't they? Yeah, they had a blind of a race, and uh, I mean, we were only three seconds off the world record. Thank you very much for that, Roger, and all the best. English Premier League side Liverpool's search for Luis Suarez's replacement has come to an end. That will only be if Italian striker Mario Balotelli took his goal-scoring boots with to Anfield. Balotelli was officially unveiled as a Liverpool player on Monday and was in the stands when his new side lost 3-1 to his old clubs at the Etihad Stadium on Monday night. The much-anticipated AC Milan to Liverpool move of Mario Balotelli officially took place on Monday when the Messi side outfit unveiled the Italian striker. We're now joined in studio by uh, Mr. Monde in Lovu uh, and, of course, Kenneth Dube, Dube, who are part of golf in South Africa. Uh, the Lot and Lovu Memorial Golf Tournament took place this weekend. Gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for joining me here on Game On. Let's start with you, uh, Monde. Of course, the BMF um, <coughs> has hosted this golf tournament. Give us an idea of the idea behind it the idea behind the the golf tournament is basically to commemorate the legacy of Maduga Lawton Global and what he stood for how do we get um, young black people interested in the game of golf it must no longer be seen as this is for the white man. yes um, as I said to you earlier important thing is to get them the golf courses mm -hmm. and then get the, the, the engage them with the PGA professionals obviously whereby they cannot pay fees to get into the golf course. Are we long off from seeing a professional black golfer on the international stage? Is this still a very long way to go? Look, it's not, it's not that long way. It will still give another maybe 10 years or to 15 years, but we need backup. Very interesting discussion, but that's all we have for you on the sports desk. From me, Mahreen Chenya, goodbye.